No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. Talks Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. <laughs> For God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? I don't like funerals. Ten. You ready? Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. They just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlin didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Whatever happened before, AJ shouldn't have killed Marlin. Yeah, he wasn't hurting anybody when I killed him. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. It's really good to see you again. I thought you hated me. Well, maybe for a second, but not now. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? 
The little boy is asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Look, I understand you're angry that you lost a friend. But you have to trust me. If you don't, we don't stand a chance. I trust you to put a bullet in the back of my head. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? Or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Not bad. 
Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Dibs. Some mushrooms are edible. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kinda like to see that. Wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Remember, right? There's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay. Let's see what's inside. Rose! What's going on? You all right? We had a scare, that's all. Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks. You can barely recognize her. She's just. just like all the others. She's not your friend. She's just fertilizer, helping the plants grow. Should have figured you wouldn't get it. Or care.
Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Uh, Mitch? Is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Hmm, let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Here. Fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. We should burn her. Look, she's been like that for a long time. She's not a person anymore. Stupid. We've all seen people die. Can't fall apart over everyone. It's better, you know, to get it over with. You get all caught up in who people used to be and you can't deal with what's in front of you. I'll tell everyone when we get back that I changed my mind. We need you. Thanks. Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. 
As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fuck shit! <sighs> Great. We're totally fucking fucked. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time. To think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. One parts. Maybe well, with the double, it didn't. Uh, Mitch? Dirt would catch if the propane was soaked. Oh, no. Oh, no, stupid. Figured it out yet? No. And I won't if you keep bugging me. Sorry. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready for this. Really? Really. The school is defended, and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. <sighs> yeah, I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, oh who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. It could be anyone. Mitch, Ruby, or a Sim. You know, since she said she'd marry you and all. I, uh... You're nice enough, Clementine, but I don't think... Please stop. <laughs> We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns. And carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no! Assholes. I can't believe they're really here! If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. The log's ready. I double-checked it. Triple, even. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Get out! Yeah. <laughs> 